In the golden steppe, prehistoric homo sharpened stones by the fire, the light flickering in their eyes. When night fell, they recounted their hunt and fell asleep around small piles of coals. The moon rose, the wind rose, and the sound of hyenas echoed in the distance. A child woke, staring into the flickering flames, the only source of warmth left. The sky darkened, a storm descended on the golden steppe. The prehistoric Homo raced for shelter, 
huddled against the rocks, clutching dry wood to keep the fire going. The rain lashed their bare backs, making them shiver in the cold. In the pouring rain, Karu crawled on the wet grass, silently searching for the flint, the only ray of hope for life. On the golden grassland, Karu took the child's hand and taught him how to break a stone into its first sharp edge. The sunlight shone, the stone glinted, and laughter rang out in the wind. The woman scraped animal hides and made crude ropes. The group practiced throwing spears at tree trunks, and the child tried his hand for the first time, throwing the small spear with instinctive human faith. Take your time, little one. The great beast. It was cunning. In the golden step, homo children play with small animal bones their laughter echoing in the wind. As dusk falls, the elders recount their hunts, gesturing softly by the fire. The group gathers around, knocking on stones to create a primitive rhythm. At night, they cuddle up to sleep, their warmth spread by the sound of insects and the starry sky. On the golden step, Karu stopped, bent down to touch the ancient elephant footprints, the traces of the giant who had passed. The afternoon light slanted, their shadows stretched across the grass. As night fell, Karu sat by the fire, watching the stars reflected in his eyes. The group was silent, gathered around the fire, the heart of the first humans.